Every text has to be treated canonically. By that I mean putting that text underneath the microscope of the entire Bible and allowing the Bible to address it. For instance, Malachi chapter 1, verses 2 and 3. Esau have I hated, Jacob have I loved. Now Esau, of course, is the father of the Edomites. And God judged the Edomites because of their inhospitality toward the Jews. When they were going through the wilderness, they would not allow them easement uh, to get through. They wanted to fight them. Uh, they participated uh, in uh, their enemy's destruction of them. And so Edom is judged by God because Edom has gone against the purpose that God had for his people in an attempt to destroy uh, the Jews. We remember in Genesis 12, 1 through 3, God said to Abram, leave your country, leave your kindred, leave your acquaintances, and go to land I'm going to show you. I'm going to make your descendants as multitudinous as the stars in the sky and the sand on the seashore. And whoever blesses you, I'm going to bless. But whoever curses you, I'm going to curse. And so God is keeping his promise because Edom threatens the existence of the Jews. They have come to curse the Jews. And the promise that God made Abram, God carries out. And now he will curse them because ultimately, if the Jews become an extinct people, it will close the channel or the corridor through which Jesus Christ must come. And he will come to redeem the whole world so that not only Jews, but the whole world will be blessed. And so to take a text like this and just to live in those few verses and to form opinions and have preferences is unfair. Put that text underneath the microscope of the entire canon of Scripture and let the canon of Scripture interpret it in a way that redemptive history is portrayed and God's salvific purposes are understood.